Hi, my name is Jordan McCormick. I am the writer, producer, and director of the film, Obedience with a Purpose. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this film about? Well, it's based out of the book of Hosea. It's about a guy who, a man of God who married a hooker. Um, it, I came from his point of view of what, what that's like um, to marry someone who you know is going to be unfaithful to you. But God told you to do it anyway. So, um, uh, Terrell Jennings, Jennings, uh, Kiana Monroe and Sharon Ann are my main characters uh, for the film. Um, right now, I'm just trying to raise money for the film. Um, I'm trying to uh, get some money because I have to pay for the production of the film. Um, now, anybody who has ever produced the film or produced a fashion show or whatever, you guys know the, the amount of work and the amount of funding that you need in order to bring your film to pass. So, um, I am in the need of raising money as, as quickly as I can. Um, my deadline is May 24th to raise the funds because I plan on shooting in June. Um, the, uh, the production of the film, I it's a lot. It's, uh, you have to pay for cameras, quality cameras. You have to pay for audio. Um, lighting is a beast. Uh, you have to pay for the actors, the, the locations, um, finding locations. and. And I have locations. I have quality people helping me. I have a great team. I have professional um, professors from different colleges uh, that's helping me out with the technical parts when I start shooting. I have a professional editor, professional graphics person. I have a professional, um, uh, every, everybody that's on my team are you know professional people, but it, it costs money to pay these people. And I want this film to be a good looking film because this is my first large feature film. And so I know that I am not uh, uh, fully educated. I, I didn't go to Columbia or whatnot, but I have, a, I have a gift. I have a drive. I have a vision. And I want to bring that vision to pass because I know I will be successful in the film industry. I just need help in getting started. Um, uh, this, this film is to help people who has dealt with the death of a loved one, is to help people who, for, you know, for marriage pe married people to fight for their marriages, um, to really learn and look and what, it's, what it looks like to walk in love. That could be very difficult when somebody is constantly cheating on you. Um, but what that looks like from a male point of view. Um, we know what it looks like from a female point of view, but let's look at it from a male point of view. Um, and um, to really walk in your calling, because he's supposed to be a future pastor, but he doesn't believe in himself uh, that much to do so. So um, I am, um, I wrote the film a while ago. I'm directing it, and I'm producing it. And I could really use you guys' help. Go to Indiegogo.com. That's I N D I E. G O G O dot com and search obedience with a purpose. Um, this film will be shown at uh, the Sundance Film Festival. Um, a Hollywood director will be viewing this film. It will be in every film festival I can think of or I can enter into. Um, and uh, I really need your support. So go to indiegogo.com, that's I N D I E G O G O dot com, and search for the title Obedience with a Purpose. I'm Jordan McCormick. Thank you. Bye. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm married to this wonderful man. Unbelievable. I mean, sweet, he's kind, he's gentle. Anything that you could ever want in a man, you will definitely find it in him. I don't know. I don't know about my wife. This woman that I love. This woman that I married. This woman I promise to spend the rest of my life with. I just don't know right now. You know, what's funny is that I, I find myself asking this question and it's, why would a man like him choose me to be a wife.
to him a, a mother to his kids <laughs> knowing knowing about my past knowing the things I've done I, I don't get it <laughs> I don't get it it's I didn't have a mother I didn't have that role model I don't know the first thing about being a wife or a mother <laughs> to anybody it's just like this she's beautiful Oh, she's gorgeous. She cooks. She cleans. She's into church. <laughs> There's just something missing. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's something missing. <sighs> yeah, and still, he's so patient with me. It's like, really? <laughs> You know the things I've done. You know all about me. But yet and still, you choose to love someone like me. Someone who doesn't even love herself. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. You would think he'd be like, you know what? I don't, I don't think I could do this. <laughs> but I find myself alone in this situation. I, I, I don't think I could do this. I, be honest you know I feel like I've bitten off more than I can chew and <laughs> sooner or later I'm not gonna be able to front I'm not gonna be able to hide this you know sometimes you, you question yourself but it's hard to question God and I feel like I'm walking in his will and God told me to marry this woman so I did but I didn't, I didn't think I would come to this point. I wouldn't, didn't think it would be like this. I, I didn't think I would not know. I thought I knew everything, but this woman, she's exciting. She, she does it for me, but it's just a piece that I'm missing. I don't know what it is. I'm, I don't know. I I love him. <laughs> and that's the thing. You, you know how you love someone so much that you really you don't want to hurt them. <laughs> that's where I'm at. <sighs> so it right now <sighs> I feel like I want to call it quits. It, this this is a mistake this is truly a mistake and if I don't get out now oh, it's, it's going to be horrible I don't know This nigga got me twisted. You knew exactly how I was before you married me. And now you want me to perform like your wife and act as a mother to your raggedy kids? Please, I don't think so. Mm -mm. I didn't sign up for this. I feel like I'm in this marriage by myself. And, and, and it's almost feel like it's a dead end. You know, I know God ordained this thing and you know, I said I'm never supposed to question God, but why am I at this point? I mean, I'm in love with a woman who doesn't even love herself. I'm in love with a woman who doesn't even love me or my children. I'm at a loss. And you know that little girl? I'm going to slap her to the floor. She keep looking at me crazy. Reminding me of how those church folks used to look at me. <laughs> you know, at this point in time, I'm scared to be intimate with my own wife. You know, because I'm scared what she's going to bring home to me. 
She's out here selling her body to different men, and she's coming at home. If she's even coming at home at crazy hours, she doesn't treat my kids right. She's so disrespectful. The name she calls me, I... Church people are so fake. I seen what they were saying. I saw the way they was looking at me, talking about why her skirt's so short and why she got all that makeup on. Oh, and why she looking at my man. <laughs> Boo, I'm looking at your man because I can have your man for the right price. <laughs> and you know what? I ain't like that. You can sit and watch if you want to. I ain't stingy. No man should be going through anything like this. Not even a, a man who's not even of God. I'm saying this woman, she's really pushing me. She's really testing me. And at this point, I really don't know what to do. I mean, my frustration is at an all time high. And I don't deserve this. I, I, I don't deserve to be treated like this. God, for what? You told me to marry this woman, but you didn't tell me I'd be going through this. You know, one thing I found out about Bruce. He's such a punk, <laughs> a punk for real. You know, I know he be wanting to hit me, but he ain't gonna do it. He be trying to control me, talking about something. Where you been and where you going? Negro, please, I ain't gotta tell you a doggone thing. I go where I want, when I want, whenever I want to. So now I feel like I can save her, but at this point, I don't know what to do next. You know, I try to keep her in the house. I try to destroy the right way. I read the word to her. I study. I meditate. I fast on your word. But why? For what reason am I going through this? This is not what I signed up for. That's funny. <laughs> you know, I had to learn how to adapt to the streets. Yeah. I found out what men liked. So I know what they want. So... I use my goods. I use what I got to get what I want from them fools. Yeah. This ain't right. No man should have to go through this in his own home. A home divided is a home that is going to fall. It cannot stand. And at this point, I don't know where to stand. I'm at my ends right now. I don't know what to do. You know, Bruce, you can't say. Jesus can't even save me. So, this is me. With all my flaws and all, so either love it or stop talking to me about it, period. And she says she loves me and she doesn't understand why I'm still there and still caring for her. Because you're my wife. Can you get it through your head? Why am I going through this by myself? We supposed to be in a relationship together. And at this point, I think my love is really being tested. I think my faith is being tested. Lord, why? Why am I with someone who doesn't even love themselves? Why am I giving my all to someone else who doesn't even want it? Why am I being disrespected in my own home when I shouldn't be? I'm gonna sign up for this.